So the, the the steps are basically in a few months we're launching our demonstrator satellite. That's a that's a much smaller. Um, it's about the size of a small fridge, 60 kilogram um, small sat. That's going to have about 100 times more powerful GPU compute than has ever been operated in space before, including an H100 from NVIDIA for the first time, an A6000 from NVIDIA, and a few other 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 chips. Yeah, and the, go on, go on, Nick. What are you going to say? <laughs> yeah. The um no, I was going to ask what has been up there. Like, what's what's the 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 most you know performance yeah. thing that's been thrown up into into the atmosphere? The most performant is is probably a Jetson Orin chip. That's the um, thing. I mean, we're actually flying with a Jetson Orin even on that satellite, and we're using it for telemetry and flight controls and things like that. Um, it's like which, a say, high in comparison now, right? Like you know, from yeah. a performance point of view versus <laughs> things, yeah. Yeah, compared to an H100, it's literally a hundred times slower. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's the that's the, that's the current state of the art. And lots of times when people talk about doing data centers in space, they are talking about putting jets and chips up, which is yeah, literally a hundred times less less performant than what we're going to be doing. Um, so yeah, that, that's that's the first one. And the purpose of that mission is really to prove that we can operate data center grade terrestrial chips uh, in space. Um, so as I say, nobody's ever ever really tried. We've we've done a whole bunch of ground testing on that, particularly we put H one hundreds in a cyclotron and shot protons at it and done you know, uh, thermal vacuum, all of these types of tests. So now it's just left to see if it, you know, see if all of those tests uh, function in space as they re do. In reality yeah. is simulation. But like when you throw that thing into the simulation, what are you are you expecting things to fail? 